first introduced in 2014, the GLA became the entry point for Mercedes-Benz SUV lineup. Despite its weird proportions, where it looked like a hatchback on stilts and a tight cabin space which didn't feel any special, the GLA nameplate still enjoyed a fair share of success as it gave the buyers their first taste of what owning a three-pointed star felt like. And then in 2020, the second generation arrived, improving on all the shortcomings of the first-gen GLA. It was bigger than before, uh, had more space and features on the inside, and the cabin felt more premium as well, while it looked like a proper crossover with a muscular stance. Now it's 2024 and the GLA has turned 10. So to celebrate its first decade of existence, even here in India, this is the new and updated MY2024 Mercedes-Benz GLA class. And in this video, we'll be taking a closer look at all the changes this update brings with it. We'll be taking a look at the feature list and the comfort it offers. And stick around till the end if you also want to know the real-world car wallet diesel mileage of this Mercedes-Benz GLA 220D 4MATIC. You're watching Carwale, I'm Bilal and let's begin. So let's begin with the changes first, but let me tell you that uh, you can get the GLA in the usual two trims. There's a progressive line and what we have here, the AMG line. So if you get a progressive line, the grille is slightly different. You get vertical doers there. But here in the AMG line, you get this chrome uh, mesh with a diamond studded grille. And then uh, you move lower down and the bumper looks slightly sportier. In the progressive line, it looks much more premium. And whichever variant you choose, the biggest change comes in the form of the headlamp. The overall shape is the same, but you get a new lightning signature, which is specially highlighted with this eyebrow-like design. You can have the GLA in five color options, including a new spectral blue, which I would have very much liked to see in the real world. As for the alloy wheels, you get these thick five-spoke 19-inch wheels in the AMG line. So after the front and the side, let's move on to the back and the most significant changes you would see here are these tail lamps. Now the overall shape remains the same as before, but you get a newer lighting element where the boxy elements are replaced with this bro-like design. And you move lower down and there are two sweet elements that you see here on the AMG line. First up is that air diffuser, uh, which, is, uh, which looks quite sporty and lower down the bumper. And flanking it are those uh, elliptical exhaust tips. But these are fake exhaust tips as the real one is hidden underneath. Now that's the update on the new 2024 GLA and uh, compared to it, the new X1 which has also received a significant update looks much more sharper and edgier while this looks hefty and bulky. So which design do you like? Do let us know in the comment section below. Now after the exterior, let's move on to the changes on the inside. Now, like the exterior, you get two themes here as well. The progressive trim will get you a Mercedes' V5 steering, which feels more premium and looks handsome and it's usually seen on more expensive cars. But here in the AMG line, you get this sporty looking twin spoke, uh, leather wrapped and flat bottom steering with red stitches. It feels, and, uh, it feels very nice and fantastic to hold. Another likeable thing here in the cabin is the uh, ambient lighting strip that runs on the either side of the center console. It looks and feels very premium. Uh, the seats in this AMG line, they are wrapped in something called as microfiber and uh, Artico leather. They hold you tight in place and feels very nice. Another missable change that you would see here in this 2024 cabin is that the design on this, on this dashboard is finished in carbon fiber. There's a different design in the progressive line. Although there's no touchpad now, the MBUX interface you get here is the latest one offered across the range. This means there are 3D maps now along with car 2 x connectivity, both of which we saw in the new S-Class and the C-Class. It also has a gaming console, not a proper gaming console, but you can play simple arcade games like Sudoku, Pairs and Shuffle Puck. The update also brings some useful features such as keyless entry, hands-free tailgate, active parking, wireless smartphone integration, TPMS and a 360 degree camera. In terms of advanced driver assist hardware, it does get front collision warning and brake assist, adaptive high beam, blind spot assist and cruise control. Now after the front seats, let's talk about the second row comfort of the GLA. Now getting inside is not very comfortable because of the narrow entrance. 
but once inside you have good amount of space here i especially love the uh, support offered by these sculpted seats and with the same microfiber and leather upholstery it feels very premium as well now the legroom is no complaint i also love that there's a dedicated uh, moonroof here and there's an air vent as well but i would have also preferred if it offered a folding armrest with cup holders which used to be offered before but now it's been eliminated i would have also preferred if it had a separate uh, ac zone here a separate zone for the uh, passengers and if the seat could have reclined a bit more but otherwise spending long hours here in the second row wouldn't be a bad idea now this is just an update neither a generation change nor a facelift so the powertrain options have been carried over without any changes now internationally when mercedes did launch this update they uh, uh, they updated the plug in hybrid powertrain as well but we don't have a plug in hybrid powertrain here in india so what we get is the usual uh, petrol and diesel engine options now the petrol engine it's the familiar 1.3 liter turbo petrol making almost 160 horsepower and 250 newton meter and the diesel is the 220d with a 2 liter turbo diesel Uh, it can be had with either front wheel drive configuration or what we are driving here the all wheel drive in either case the transmission choice is the newer 8 speed dct and the power output here in the 220d formatic is just under 190 horsepower and around 400 newton meter you'd be hard pressed to believe this is a diesel engine as there are no vibrations or diesel clatter whatsoever This diesel is quite refined and smooth both on idling and once you get going. There's a huge reserve of torque which is also available low down the rev range. And this torque is effortlessly put down on the tarmac thanks to this lightning quick DCT gearbox. The dual clutch unit can roll through the gears without a hint of a jerk or any delay. Uh, it even manages to find an appropriate gear depending on what speed you're doing and you can even accelerate from the standstill in the second gear. When stomped hard on the throttle the dam gates open at around 3500 rpm and all the torque reserves comes flooding in. Now when you roll through the drive selector here uh, you do get unlike the GLE and the GLS that I drove before this car you do get sport mode. Now be it the eco mode the comfort mode or the sport mode the differences are barely noticeable. But in either way Uh, the GLE 220 GLA 220D we have here is very eager to lurch forward towards the horizon and the 0 to 100 km per hour time is just over 7 seconds which isn't too bad for a diesel family crossover right and apart from that it also gets uh, a dedicated off road mode it does changes the way the power is sent to the wheel the way the all wheel drive is managed and everything else but more than that it just give you a confidence to take the GLA across a beaten path if not more now power and uh, refinement are not the only two good traits about this turbo diesel engine uh, it is also very frugal so in a car while it tested fuel mileage the GLA in this diesel avatar it returned a fuel mileage of over 15 kmpl in the city and just under 22 kmpl on the highway which gives you uh, an overall uh, real world car mileage of around 17 kmpl which again isn't a bad figure for a premium suv going to and a half turns lock to lock the steering response is quick and direct there's some amount of understeer when you try to take a corner carrying slightly more speed than required but there's always a high level of grip from the formatic that does come to your rescue every single time if you want a well absorbent and pliant ride you should look at the smaller 18 inch wheel version because here in the amg line the ride quality is on the stiffer side you feel all the irregularities and bumps and creases but it's never exactly jarring and only the really sharp ones are filtered inside the cabin But overall the suspension setup is superb if you like a well spring car that is also fun to drive when push hard. So over the decade and across two generations the Mercedes Benz GLA has managed to find over 14000 takers here in India. Its direct rivals comes in the form of the BMW X1, the Audi Q3 and the Volvo XC40. Now the XC40 and the Q3 aren't available in diesels. but the biggest competition 
for the GLA comes in the form of the X1. Now the X1 has also received a significant update recently and it's uh, getting a lot of praise for it. So if you want to see a direct uh, comparison between these two entry-level German SUVs, let us know in the comment section below. And if you want any more details on all of these uh, rivals, uh, do head on to our website www.carwale.com. So at the end of the day, can the Mercedes-Benz GLA be your first luxury car? Well, what works in its favour are its good looks, a pampering cabin, uh, the new feature list and the performance and the frugality of this diesel mill. What does not work in its favour is that Mercedes could have added more significant changes with this update, especially in terms of design. Uh, the cabin could get more feel-good features such as seat ventilation or more ADAS features and I personally still miss that trackpad. But at the end of the day, if you still want to put your money on the GLA, you simply cannot go wrong. That's all from this video. This is Bilal signing off. Until next time. Wow.